Welcome to the discussion. My guest today, Vince Sodasanti, the Federal Principal Consultant for FirstNet at AT AT&T. Vince, welcome to the discussion. Thank you. Great to be here. Chris Algier, the Director of Federal and National Programs, First Responder Network Authority. Chris, welcome to the discussion. Hey, thanks, Jason. Looking forward to the talk. And Rob Patterson, the Senior Executive Director of Public Safety, AT&T. Rob, welcome to the discussion as well. Thanks, Jason. FirstNet now has been around for several years. It's really some some building capacity and, and building really a lot of interest across the, the federal government. So let me start with Chris. And as a reminder, what is FirstNet? Why do we care about it? Why is this important? Sure. Uh, FirstNet is public safety wireless broadband network designed specifically for public safety. Congress created the FirstNet Authority and mandated uh, the deployment of this network in order to better serve public safety and to resolve some of the issues that occurred during the 9-11 attacks and how the ability for the various public safety disciplines to communicate during those events. Um, So FirstNet right now is is working through what Congress directed and also uh, spending a great deal of time understanding what public safety needs and what public safety would like to see into the future as we continue to work with our partner AT&T in developing and deploying the network. We've seen over the last couple of years now, state and local first responders who want to use the network, and we've seen the network in action. So give me a, an update of where we're at with the network build out itself. With Within the past two years that the network really has been operational now, we've seen FirstNet really transform how public safety uh, really operates, how they communicate, uh, how they essentially interoperate with each other. And we've seen adoption uh, spike very aggressively. So it really speaks to uh, what p- FirstNet is is doing in this community, right? Really changing how public safety operates and for the better. We've continually seen um, situations where FirstNet really has been the game changer. For example, last year um, with Hurricane Michael and Florence, FirstNet was the game changer for public safety. So there's these pieces and parts that maybe are under the covers that people don't realize that makes such a big difference that allow Uh, first responders to communicate and communicate effectively. When we look at FirstNet, to your point, Jason, think of it as a platform. Um, The network is just one component of the platform. There are a lot of elements that I will say are critical and elements that public safety across federal uh, have asked for, have fought for. Um, One of those is, you know, greater security. Uh, How do we respond to that? Well, we provided a dedicated Uh, public safety core. It's nation's only physical core today in in support of public safety. That brings true security. Uh, Tied to that core, uh, you have the uh, oversight of a dedicated security operations center uh, to ensure that there is constant protection, full oversight uh, of how this network is functioning for public safety. This is why a commercial network, for instance, just wouldn't be possible. Yeah. So, so this, so the first net network is distinctly different and separate. So Vin, Vince mentioned the network core, like that having that physically separate network core. AT and T is delivering a first net network, not an AT and T commercial network. Um, so access to that band fourteen capability increases the capacity, but it also allows us to do some very different things with the network from a priority and preemption perspective. Rob, you spent before joining AT and T thirty years at the Drug Enforcement Administration. From a user's perspective, what's the difference between uh, today and maybe 20 years ago? We've tried to, to build and maintain systems that work coast to coast, you know, border to border. And the real issue with that is in the federal space, you have multiple agencies doing it. So if you think about these commercial networks that providers have built, the federal government's trying to be in that same space building their own networks. And those come with an enormous cost. Frankly, what I saw in those last handful of years, especially dealing with budgets, Public-private partnerships are actually the only way for us to be efficient in the government. So when you talk about communications and interoperability, and I'll use you know the Department of Justice as, as a great example, we can't maintain nationwide systems, right? The funding isn't there. So what we do is tend to rely heavily on state systems. There's thousands of radio systems out there. But the, the solutions that we've always had problems with is most of, of the Department of Justice components cover multiple states. So you start to run into the host of problems, and that's the reason for the discussion on mobile networks to do this. And the the conversation has always been clouded with the problems of coverage, capacity, throttling, all those other things that the commercial networks have caused issues with because there was no way for us to adjust to that as a customer. FirstNet changes that entire dynamic, and I think that's, that's the piece that I think in the federal space people need to understand is a platform has now been built that allows for these conversations to actually start to take life.